the Mac and I want to look at the new Mind View 8. Now I'm going to go through the basics because previous versions but I just want to keep you updated. The interface might be slightly different as well. So I'm going to open up Mind View 8 and there it is. Now again it's pretty similar to the previous versions so if you go to templates you can choose a template if you wish. These are actually good templates because they can get you up and running and they're not copyright as well so definitely worth a look through them but I want to start with new and start with a basic map main idea in the middle we can work in a clockwise direction but if you prefer you can work top down or left to right also do timelines outline linear format and gank charts and it all kind of integrates together as well so I'm going to select the first option here my map select choose and we are now ready to go. Now one little change here can be quite confusing is your inspector top right's kind of disappeared. Well it hasn't really, it's here, look. If I click here, then you can choose what you want. So for example, I can go into my map option, change it, maybe you want to go into format to change the colours and templates and that. So bear in mind your inspector's up here as well. The rest is pretty much the same. So if you want ideas, let's tap in the middle here. And let's pop an idea in, share as an example. I'll just put a general idea in. So I've got one there, world. Now if I double tap the background, I can put another idea in. And again, double tap again. And we'll do one more. So what you can do is get random ideas there from the top of your head, for example. Once you get your ideas down, you can start organising them. So now I can look at this and go, right, I'm going to drag Spain onto World. I'm going to drag Iceland onto World and UK and then France. Once you've organised them, you can move them around. So if I drag France over this side and UK over that side. Now remember your inspector, you might want to change colours because it's about visual mapping. So I'm going to select World, come up the top here and I can select the inspector and I can select format inspector and then I can change the shape for example and then I can change the border colours and the actual colours themselves for example green and then you can go to the first option Spain and then it will change the colour there as well and remember you've got loads of formatting options where you can play around with for example width here of the actual branch line so if I make it wider you can see it there you can even change the colour of that to stand out if you want as well so to get the idea of that you can even uh, you can even add branch shadows to it if you want as well now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to tap off that if you want to mess about with adding colours you can just use the template option here to create how you want it to look there you go if you just want to get a map up and running quickly. Now, you only get a certain amount of options here unless you click on an option here. So if I select, for example, Spain, it then gives you more options here, as you can see on the right. Now, if I come up to here, and if I select, for example, Pictures Inspector, I can then look for an image to do with Spain. I don't think there's any built into here, but we'll have a look. I'll type Spain at the top. There we go, we have actually got a flag there. So if I hold the left button and drag it onto Spain, you can then add the visual mapping if you need to as well. Again, you can copy and paste from external websites as well, like Google Images, into your map, just to build your visual mapping. Now, it's not just about visual mapping, it's about adding data and links. So I'm going to click on Spain, and I'm going to create a sub-branch offer there. Now, I can do it a number of ways. I could come up the top here and select branch or sub-branch. I find the easiest method is double tap on the inside. It keeps you focused on what you're doing. So I could put Spain and I could pop in there, couldn't I? Madrid for an example. And I could double tap there again. And I could put in Barcelona. As we break down subcategories for Spain. And again I could come to the right and add images if I want. That's relevant to Madrid or Barcelona. But I want to show you to add data. Now I find the easiest way, if I click on Madrid, now I can come up the top here, look, and you've got loads of options, so I could go attach, 
I could attach a file or website or record an audio note. That's one option. But I find it easier if you do a right click, you've got all your options here so I can quickly go, right, what do I want to do here? I want to attach a file. So I might have a file on my computer that's relevant to Madrid, so I could choose anything as an example. I put cognitive, not really nothing to do with it, but look at the paper clip here. So if I click on it, it will bring up that document for me and you can access it quickly. And there you go. So you can do that with any file on your Mac you want, because whatever you link it to will open up in its own application. What about adding a website? So I'm going to open up Safari. I'm just going to type in generally Madrid, see what we get. And let's have a little scroll down. So let's have a little look. I'm going to choose any link. I may wouldn't use Wikipedia, but I'm just going to use it as a link as an example. Now, I'm going to copy the link at the top. Go back to your map. Now, I'm going to add that. So I've got a link already for a file attached. Do a two-finger tap or right-click. I'm now going to insert a hyperlink. Paste it underneath. I'm going to do Command-V, and then you can give the name of the website in there. I'm just going to call that Wiki and select OK. Now watch, when I hover the attachments, you can see when I hover over, we've now got two links. We've got that file added earlier, and we've even got the website link. So if I click on it, it will bring that link up for you. So it's great for research, you know, even when you're doing your dissertation as well. And if you want, you know what you could do? You could highlight a bit of text in there. Again, I'm going to do Command-C. Go back to the map. Now on Madrid, two-finger tap again. I'm going to add, come to the right, text note. See it appeared at the bottom, I can then do Command V and paste it in there. Now, if I come to the right and close it, I've now got three attachments. You're building up all your media. I have, I've got the note I added, I've got the file I added and the website. So I can open up that note anytime, carry on working on it. And I can even highlight information in here and choose the option here to change the colour change the colour of what I'm working on. So you can see it's such a great idea. So there we go. I'm going to close that little note at the bottom. If you struggle with numbering or structure, come up to the right and select the numbering scheme for me. I'm going to choose the first option down. So it numbers it for you. So if I move Iceland above Spain, you'll see the number change. So if you do struggle with structure and organisation, this is really handy because what you can do when you're finished, I'm going to show you in a minute, is actually send it to a Word document. Or maybe doing a group PowerPoint, you can send it to there. One other thing, just in case you're not happy with the layout, you can change it halfway through or whenever. Come up to View, and you might decide, actually, I want everything from left to right, not to go round. You still keep the numbering scheme, as you can see down here. Or you might want a hierarchy, top down. But I actually prefer the main idea in the middle. And last thing we're going to do on this one map is send it to Word. So go to File, Export to Microsoft Word. Important you choose a template because if you're doing an essay with this and planning an essay and breaking it down into subcategories, then you'd want something like Harvard. You wouldn't really want a coloured mixture because what that does is when you send it to Word, you'd have coloured blue headers and borders and everything. So I'm going to leave it on Harvard. Next thing I'm going to do, I could just do Export. But while I'm here, select options and just choose your four options here. Do I want the map sent? Yes, I do. Would I like table contents? Yes, and include title page. Yes, I'll definitely do that as well. Don't worry about bibliography at the moment. I'll show you that in another map. Select export. Give it a name. I'm happy with world. And select save. And select open. And yes, follow any links. Enable macros and select yes, update page numbers and click OK. Now let's have a little look what we've got here. Shall I maximize it for you? There's my total page, there's my map and table contents if you like. Underneath, there's all my information organized within my map and I can even access these links if I want by tapping on them. 
So there's your first map. This is for research and getting ideas down. Next I'm going to look at writing an essay and creating a bibliography. See you in a minute.